Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and welcome to the May 2022 monthly budget with me video. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through our May 2022 monthly budget, which is pretty nostalgic because after we got married and officially like got settled and um, combined our finances, we created our first budget in May. So that was like five months or so after um, the month that we had gotten married. So I guess that's about how long it took us to kind of get things in order and get situated and all of that. But anyway, very, very nostalgic. In today's video, we're gonna cover three things. We are going to actually do some financial goal setting and kind of set some intentions. We are going to set up our monthly calendar and also set up, create, finalize our monthly budget. So those are gonna be the three things that we cover in today's video. I am going to be budgeting on my iPad for the fifth month because I just got it in December and I've been using it since the beginning of the year. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. So if you're into uh, that type of thing, then this video might be even a tad bit more exciting than just hearing me talk about all of these things or you know, using a physical planner or using an app. You know, I kinda use whatever, I don't really, it, I am not, it doesn't matter to me what method that we use to, you know, kind of finalize our budget as long as we are, as long as we have a method. A little bit about us, we are technically a family of three. Uh, one of the family members is actually a member of the K-9 family. So we have me and my husband, we are married and obviously, and we have shared finances. And then we also have our fur baby who my husband rescued last year. So that's been a little bit of an adjustment, especially financially and just really all around having my first pet, our first pet. We do have plans of having a human child or children, actual children. So maybe this time next year, I'll be singing praises of it could be a whole baby because that's a year from now or you know some kind of pregnancy i don't really know but maybe um well i'm certain that we'll be further along in our parenthood journey or journey to parenthood by this time next year i guess i don't know you'll have to say soon but yeah that's pretty much about us my husband and i both work full-time in education and we also have like a little side hustle um much of which is comes from youtube i very much consider youtube and us doing youtube to be a part of our side hustle side business business on the side situation and um that's pretty much about us we are on a fire movement financial independence retire early so we're trying to retire by like 50 at the max and which is still like 20 years 15 to 20 years before the traditional retirement age we do have some pretty strict financial goals but also whatever money we are not using to advance our financial futures we kind of just spend uh i wouldn't say frivolously but we definitely you're not going to see a tight budget in this video i guess is what i'm trying to say so anyway that is pretty much all that there is um, for me to share before we actually dive into the video so if you are interested in seeing you know all that we have planned for our money for our finances for the month of may then please keep watching okay so let's start with specs i'm using a 12.9 inch apple ipad pro it is the fifth generation and i'm also using a an apple pencil and this is the second generation and i i have added this clear tip i dropped my apple pencil these little tips are removable I dropped my Apple Pencil and the tip that came with the Apple Pencil literally smushed. Like it, it was so dramatic. Like I don't even, like it didn't even fall that hard. So I don't know how it got damaged, but it stopped working. So I bought these tips from Amazon. I'll have those linked down below if you want a tip. It's kind of like clear and gold, if you can see that. So those are the specs. I do have a paper-like screen protector, which makes writing using an Apple Pencil on the iPad so much better and it kind of feels like paper so that's something anyway we're gonna go into the good notes app that is my note-taking app that's where I have all my you know notes my work notebook my planner budget planner all sorts of different things and then I have some tabs opened here and they're gonna kind of help guide us as we do this video and kind of set up the budget um, the other thing worth notating is that I am using the dash planner and I will share with you how I compose my planner, but basically I bought like this uh, planner package thing from the Dash Planner, which is kind of like, uh, honestly it's like 20 planners in one, honestly. And so it's a for sure bang for your buck and you can get all kinds of different elements and she has freebies, all sorts of different things. So it's thedashplanner.com or you can find the Dash Planner on Etsy. 
Um, so anyway, this is where we're going to start. We are going to start with setting up our monthly overview. So I'll probably weave in and out of here. Um, I'll probably honestly just go and let you guys listen to music while I set up our monthly overview. But I do want to share before what I'm going to be drawing from. So the dash planner has these little sticker books. This one has some like coral pinky shades. So I think I'm going to use these for any thing that I might need as I'm setting up the planner. Also, she has this holiday sticker set that is, I think, free. Um, she also has the spring stickers, which I think are also free. And then she has a finance sticker book, which I have purchased. And it has some, you know, like pinky, uh, springy types of colors, which I think will match with the design element that I'm going for. So these are just the stickers that I'm going to be using. So all of my needs come from the dash planner. So anyway, I'm going to set up my monthly spread and then I'll be back. <laughs>
I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is what I have concocted for the monthly overview. I just like to come in here to kind of see when bills are due and when our paydays are and check off the bills as they're paid, all of that stuff. Now, all of our bills are on auto pay. And so therefore, I don't really have to like pay any bills manually or monitor them as far as that goes. But I do like to ensure that they've come out and that you know they've cleared. That's important if you're gonna use auto pay for all of the things. So as you can see, I pulled in a little, I guess it was like a photo, but I kind of stretched it and cropped it to make it a banner. I was going for putting it up here. That was weird. It wasn't giving what I needed for it to give. So I landed on this. You saw me decorate and you know kind of fill this out to my liking. I did a little coloring, all of that. So this is our uh, monthly overview and so if we swipe to the right then we will see our May 22 monthly finances sheet now this sheet came with a free planner that the dash planner has It's a horizontal planner as you can see um, but as for this sheet I pulled it from the horizontal planner that I paid for again if you purchase the dash planner like package deal thing I think right now it's like $25 $24.99 then you get a bunch of different um, planners and like landscape modes a bunch of different templates and you can kind of concoct your own planner I have a video on digital planning coming soon by coming soon I mean like I haven't filmed it but I want to film <laughs> such a video just to kind of share all the different elements just so you're not spending a bunch of money that you don't need to be spending on trying to get the look um, I can share with you how to get the look for less so this I pulled from my actual planner because I just pulled it from my personal planner to put it in my budget planner so we're gonna put our financial goals and to do's and such here so what we're gonna do is navigate to the front of this planner and here in this is like the front of my budget planner I have our payday so I did pull our paydays from this sheet or I kind of like remember like I know when we get paid but just FYI this is where I would come to get further clarity on our paydays but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this sheet here and this was April and this is these are the goals that we have set for April um, in January February and March basically I like having you know this section here so that I can always reference it just have like a, an overall depiction of what we did with our money for the year so essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this mainly because I want like how it's set up I don't really want the same goals obviously or to do's and I'm gonna drop those here and then I am going to adjust so interestingly enough some of these actually will still be the same these are not a thing I want to leave that there that can go okay so let's talk about our May goals first thing we want to do is invest two two thousand dollars this is going to be our additional investing we invest through our jobs but that's not going to get us retiring <laughs> any like early whatsoever so we have to do additional investing I will talk to you more in a minute about where that money is going to go and how we'll allocate it but for the most part we are going to invest an additional two thousand dollars and I'll talk about that once we get to our monthly budget we want to invest 15 percent of our paychecks um, we don't have to worry about that or this so as for other financial goals for May I literally we don't have any we've you know tried to figure it out and we don't really have any one thing that we could potentially do or that we're thinking about doing which might actually be a task is some stuff to our yard but that might actually there's like a pending sponsorship opportunity that that I might be able to get and if that is the case then that sponsorship would cover those shenanigans but I don't get out of school until the first week of June my husband does get out of school in May like the school year ends in May so I know we're not gonna do anything like super major regarding lawn care and patio and gardening and all of that in the month of May anyway so I don't really have to add that on here so we can just kind of talk about the tasks I do need to purchase another wedding gift you'll see this pretty much every month for um, a few months because we have a few weddings coming up also I need to um, book a hotel for probably both weddings book hotels for weddings 
sure weddings will not fit. Uh, no, I don't like that. We're just gonna do book hotels. I know what it's for. Um, my husband does have to go to the dentist in May. I am not thinking that he'll have a copay, so I'm actually going to erase that. Um, as far as any other tasks that we need to complete in the month of May, obviously, well not obviously, but um, we need to purchase a Mother's Day gift. Uh, we'll do, oops, we'll do M Day gift because we're running out of space. And then our dog doesn't have, like we just kind of run through and think about what we need to do and like what our tasks are, what intentions we have. Um, we don't have any plans for like a no spend or um, anything else that I can really think of short of doing the wedding things. I probably do need to book a hair appointment and nail appointments for the wedding. I'm actually in this wedding by the way, the May wedding, <laughs> uh, the matron of honor. Book hair appointment and then probably book nail appointments. These aren't really like family things, but uh, obviously things that do have to take place and so that I'm not looking like who shot John and forgot to kill him at these weddings or at this wedding in particular. So anyway, those are kind of like the financial goal tasks that we have. I'm gonna copy all of this and then I am going to bring it over to our May sheet here so we can kind of have those as reminders at the top and I'm gonna throw those here. And um, what I don't know that I like is that, oops. I just don't want the gray thing, it's too bland. And I don't know that I want the gray dots either, so I'm actually gonna get rid of those. And then we're just gonna bring in a coral. So, oops. Actually, that's kinda cool. <laughs> I kinda like that. Let's do two, oh, let's go back. Let's do two of them. That one's going in crooked. Okay, and then we'll do some dots for, ooh, too big. Some highlights, rather. That's also a little bit big, but yeah, also a little too big. Let's go here and then we'll get what we need. Maybe that, no, too big. Oh, that's that's, that's almost bigger than the other one. How about that? Mm, also a little too big. Let's go down there. Yeah, that works. Let's do some dots just to add a little color, a little pizzazz to our goals and our tasks. And then I'm also going to move these over just so they can have their own little moment over there. And that is going to, that's gonna do it. Let's do that. Okay, so those are our goals and our tasks for the month of May. Um, the only other thing I wanna bring over is probably this, just to add a little color to this sheet because it's looking kind of blah. And so we'll add that in. And all right, we're good to go. So I will have to tell you that these, I'll actually show you, the, this particular planner comes with like pre-populated, um, I guess you would call them pre-populated Mm, titles I guess and I don't like them so I just get rid of them so like as an example this is probably one yeah so I just take the white pen and I make the tip really thick like as thick as I can make it like that and then I just color over it so that it disappears so just FYI that's why this looks like this if you happen to have this planner and yours does not look like this so let's go ahead now and get started with um, kind of walking through the elements of our monthly budget and I will talk through all of the things so starting out like I mentioned we both have full-time jobs and so therefore we are going to um, you know kind of accommodate for for that so for here, I'm just gonna lump it all together and I'm gonna do, actually I'm not mad at that thickness. Let's do that. So we'll do full-time jobs. We get 4,757 dollars. So that is what we're going to plan on bringing in from our jobs, AKA that's what we're gonna bring in unless we 
either of us experiences a loss of income because that's the minimum amount that we will bring in. From the business, we are going to bring in or pay ourselves a certain amount. And this is going to be a lesser amount because, well, it kind of just depends on what we are doing with our lives. That kind of determines what we're going to pay ourselves from the business. But at minimum, we normally do like at least around like $2,000 because that will then cover our investing. So we don't really need that much for the month of May. Um, we need enough to cover our minimum investing. So therefore, we're just going to pay ourselves, not just because, I mean, obviously make no mistake, this is a lot of money, but we're just going to, we're not just going to, we're going to pay ourselves $2,493. That would bring our total income to $7,250. So that's going to be our income that we're working with for the month of May. So let's go ahead and run through our housing and utilities. So I really like how this is set up because in the Every Dollar app that I use, which I've been using for five plus years, I set up our budget the same way. So first that we have mortgage, which we have some changes happening this month, you guys. So we have our mortgage. This is going up $20. Typically your mortgage will increase based on like your escrow, like your property taxes and, and all of that. That's what's going to determine um, the amount of your mortgage, depending on what all is wrapped up in your mortgage. Like everybody's mortgage consists of different elements, but for us, um, it really just has to do with our property taxes. So we are going to budget that much for our mortgage, which means that it went up a flat $20. Um, next up we have security for our homes, for our homes, for our home. And Vivid monitors all of our um, security and does all of our security needs and we pay them each month, $51.47. Next up we have pest control. Uh, I think they're called advanced services. They monitor our pests and all that. And so we pay them each month $46. I may pay them annually. Um, this is like a trial run. This is like our first year having them. I think the year is coming up soon, but I think I may start paying them annually just so we have one less monthly bill. So this kind of makes up our housing. Now let's talk about our utilities. So first up we have electricity. Georgia Power um, provides us with electricity and we pay them not an, a, the same amount each month. It's, it actually varies, but for, I already got the bill. That's when I know it's time to like, not only do this video, but finalize our budget because I wait for our electricity bill to get here. And once that gets here, which is around maybe like the 20th or so of the month, that's when I'm like, okay, time to finalize this budget and time to get this budget in order, which always seems to be about a month or sorry, a week before the new month starts, which is kind of when we like to start really thinking about our budget. So that's going to be 91.63, which is quite cheap. I'm here for it. I think that drinking Coke Zero. I think that um, as like for the summer, since we're going to be home all summer, since we're both off of work all summer, I think our bill probably might be a little out of control. So kind of nervous about that. But as of right now, you know, 91.63 when everything else is inflated, it's actually pretty good. Okay, moving on to cable, which is actually Sling TV. It's a streaming service. My husband uses it to meet his um, cable needs. Our, well, really his sports needs. Our cable, who do we used to have? We first had DirecTV. Is that who we always had? I feel like we maybe had AT&T or something, which maybe they provided the DirecTV. They were like uh, partnered together. I don't know, but it was quite expensive. It kept kind of going up, so we just kind of got rid of it and we found Sling TV, which we pay and even $35 a month for the package that my husband needs. Next up we have phones. So I actually recently switched and my husband is going to switch too. We, we kind of are doing it in steps because the main motivator for me switching is so that I can have better service at my main office because I don't have service there like I didn't when I had Cricket. So we've actually recently switched and I will share with you guys how that's going um, once, you know, I've had it for like at least, you know, a certain amount of time. I feel like I've only been using it maybe like six days. I definitely don't have anything negative to report. So just stay tuned for that, I guess. So I am budgeting for, um, we switched to something pretty, pretty affordable. So I am going to budget $30 
Um, there's a lot going on. Basically, maybe that is what I need to do. Yeah, let's put that as a task. Um, we'll just put it as a goal, though, since we're pretty much out of space for goals. I'm going to put um, switch switch cell phone carrier. Switch, um, what do I want to call it? Switch cell carriers. Carrier. Carriers. <laughs> switch cell carriers we'll put that as a goal because that is a goal of ours to get him switched over as well um which won't take much but we just haven't done it okay um again somebody i felt like somebody since we have prepaid we can kind of do whatever so i felt like it was appropriate for one person to kind of go test the waters which is me okay so next up we have our amazon music and we are going to pay them 4.99 and that is for like the basic i think it's going up honestly that's actually stressing me i'm pretty sure that's going up honestly let me look that's gonna mess up my whole budget and it's gonna annoy me heavily but i'm pretty sure that's going up but did i accommodate for it in my budget a change to your subscription price it is going to go, oh okay it was $3.99, now it's going to $4.99, so I did account for it, so I love that for me. <laughs> I, whenever I got the um, notification, I went ahead and went in to our preliminary May budget, um, which is in every dollar, and I updated it, so I love that for me. So $4.99 is going to be the new price. Oh, there, um, I was, <laughs> so this is toxic, but I was <laughs> toxic and dysfunctional. I was about to be so because it was i was thinking it was already 4.99 or five dollars for whatever reason that didn't stress me out because i thought for a minute that was the normal price but now that i know that it's the price that it went up to for whatever reason i now have a problem that it has gone up to five dollars even though originally i was okay like i was settled <laughs> with it being <laughs> i was not disturbed with it being five dollars but now all of a sudden since this is the price that has gone up to I now all of a sudden have a problem that's me opposing capitalism okay Amazon music $4.99 also we have the internets and that is through AT&T and um, we paid them $60.80 per month then we have Netflix because we have all of the entertainment <laughs> because we stay at home and entertain ourselves through watching Joe and Carol um, on Peacock, Bel Air on Peacock, The Home Edit on Netflix, um, my husband watches sports on the Sling TV, and what's the other thing? We listen to Amazon Music all day every day. And what's the other thing we, what's the other, I feel like we have another service. Do we have some uh, Netflix, Peacock, Sling TV? Is that all we have? Uh, hopefully that's all we have. Okay, so those are our sources of entertainment. Ooh, that is so weird. We have three more spaces and we have three more um, line items to add. So I love that. I did not plan that out. I mean, like I didn't know that was going to be the case. Water slash sewer through the city is 43.10 and that has gone up. So I don't love that. Peacock, which is what I just mentioned, is kind of like, well, we really just got it so we can watch Bel Air, but we make sure that we take advantage of it by watching other things on there. And we canceled this game that my husband had on his phone to be able to afford Peacock. Well, to so it will be like an, an easy switch. Also, we have Georgia educators. My husband is a Georgia educator. I work for the school system, remember, but I am not an educator. And um, while this should come from his checks, he set it up to where it does not. So one of these days, maybe the new school year, we'll get it sorted out. And we'll have that coming from his check instead of being reflected as a bill because it's annoying just to have that. But we have just the right amount of spaces. So that's housing and utilities. And so the total for that is going to be, let's go ahead and add it up. And we'll use my phone because we can. We will go ahead and add up the amount, which is going to be uh, 51.47 plus 46 plus... 9163 plus 35 plus 30 plus 499 plus 6080 plus 999 plus 4310 plus 4, 9, 9, plus 5083 and I love getting a 
a look at how much I think there was an easier way for me to do that but um, I think I could have looked in every dollar and gotten what I needed but this is how much we are going to budget for housing and utilities which is whoo that's a lot but the good part is this is like the bulk of our budget and everything else can be fl more flexible I think like even if we canceled like I don't know Amazon Music and Peacock we wouldn't save but five dollars not to say that five dollars five dollars each not to say that's not a lot of money but for the most part this is the least flexible these expenses are more um, of the ones that are going to be around for a long time some of these other bills and expenses that we have or expenses rather um, especially we could probably do without um, and you know still have a decent quality of life <laughs> if we like decrease some of our you know our shopping budget or decrease our sinking funds or something like that so that's going to be the bulk of where our money will go as far as that goes so let's go up here and go to um health and we are going to put in the health related expenses that we have so the first one is going to be our life insurances we both have well we have multiple policies but this one is through I think Progressive took over Fidelity some kind of way, but otherwise we both have life insurance that we got not through our jobs and we got immediately after we got married. And so together they're both due on the 27th and together they are 4219. Okay, so the next health related type of expense we have is pet insurance. It's really like a wellness plan, but it's also pretty much like pet insurance. That's kind of the whole gist of it. And it is going to be 57 35 for the month of May and honestly I think we already have the math on that let's see um yep we have the math on that down here 42.19 99.54 so we can also cheat a little bit so we're gonna do 99.54 and why am I not doing that oh well it's because it'd be messed up never mind I was gonna say why am I not copying everything from the previous uh budget so first off we have shopping this is going to encompass everything that we spend money on that basically isn't a bill like doesn't have a due date this is going to include food groceries dates um food for our dogs gas for our cars um all of those types of things it really just kind of includes our living expenses when it comes to to eating and like living like our toiletries and those types of things that is what you can think of when it comes to this shopping budget it is inflated has gone up since inflation has peaked its head so therefore I am basically just decided to budget everything that we have left in our budget for this so it's gonna be 1801 and 33 cents that is what we're gonna budget for shopping just because everything's inflated literally the price of food and all of that is inflated and we um, I don't think we like waste food or we buy really expensive food we do buy a lot of fresh produce and you know steak every now and again and things like that but I really don't think the food that we buy each week should warrant the price that it is or our toiletries like normally when we do our Walmart grocery order it's like 150 on most occasions and I just don't really understand how it has gone up that much back you know some years ago we would do good to even get a hundred like I would try to actually stay below a hundred so prices are definitely inflated and um, there's only so much complaining I can do so the only thing I know how to do is just accommodate it and adjust our budget accordingly for inflation okay so that's personal um what else is personal is that like all the personal stuff that we have that's pretty much all of the personal personal things so that means that we're gonna have our estimate be one thousand eight hundred one dollars one dollar and 33 cents all right next up we have savings so this is where we're gonna put our sinking funds and we're gonna put our investing so we're gonna do sinking funds now you know we're building up our sinking funds what this means is that we may or may not spend money we don't have a lot of money in our sinking funds and so as we're building up the sinking funds what's really happening is that we're budgeting for the sinking funds but it's kind of like if we spend some of it then we spend some of it and if we don't we don't but whatever's left we do transfer to our sinking funds little savings account 
And so that's how that's working until it gets built up. That's the only way I can think to do it, to like kind of <laughs> like do what we can until we get these accounts up as we're building up our sinking funds, because I'm not saying we don't have a decent amount in there, but you know, as it relates to our lifestyle, it's not like some, it's not an amount that's comfortable, I guess. So we're building up those. So for our sinking funds, we are going to budget a set amount and that is going to be 885, which is about what I try to budget each month. Again, if we spend some of it, we do. If we don't, we don't. That's just the risk that we run or that's just the life that we're living as we're building up our sinking funds. Okay. So next up then we'll have our investing and just to further elaborate on that we have $1,000 that we're going to send to our joint brokerage account and then we have $500 we're going to send to my Roth IRA, $500 to my husband's Roth IRA, which is a flat $2,000, which means that this total is going to be $2,885 and that's it, $885. Why? Oh, it's doing this weird thing and it's stressing me out because it's not letting me be great. Okay, there we go. The pen and the paper like screen protector sometimes have this weird beef and friction and I get stuck in the middle. I get caught in the middle of the crossfire. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do for savings. And so for debt, we have two debts that we're paying on and that is gonna be, I also have another thing I need to add up here. I'm gonna do it as a goal just because I'm kind of out of space with tasks and I'm going to do pay Best Buy credit card um, or just to kind of make sure that's getting paid because I got a notification that we haven't hadn't used our Best Buy credit card in however long I guess like two years or something and they were going to close it and I didn't want that necessarily so I just went and bought something <laughs> so that is active again and it was like $30 so I need to just make sure that gets paid. That's just a thought that I just had. Um, I could potentially make sure that takes place in April, but I just did it. So I know like it should be set up that the bill is paid in full when the bill is due, which I think is the 18th. So I just need to double check that that's taking place just so that, you know, we pay that on time and it, you know, who wants to be dealing with fees and a late payment and all of that for literally a $30 purchase so I'm gonna go figure out that <laughs> okay also where are we at um, we are back up here to debt that's what made me think of that we have Ashley furniture that we're paying on and I need to look at that too and see um, how much is left on that because it should be basically about to be paid up should be but who knows um, there is a minimum payment that we are supposed to pay but we just pay our self-imposed minimum payment so that it gets paid off sooner um, almost everything that we have comes from Ashley Furniture. We really like it. I've always loved it. I've been buying from Ashley for like 10, 10, yeah, 10 years probably. So I really like Ashley Furniture and that's pretty much where we get everything from. We also have another debt to pay, which is our car payment. We have two, well, three cars technically. Two are paid off and one is recently financed. And so we pay for three fourteen thirty four for our newest edition and so that is going to be a total of five fourteen thirty four all right that kind of gives brings us to giving which we do budget for but not as a part of this budget and then we don't really have anything miscellaneous because I already categorized everything so is that all of our but that is that our budget I'm pretty sure that is it. So all that's left to do is add up everything and make sure that we have a total of 7250. We do an every dollar budget. So that is housing and utilities. Then we have health. Then we have shopping. Then we have uh, savings. Then we have car or debt sorry debt and that's it that gives us an every dollar budget that gives us seven two five zero for our estimated income and the same thing for our estimated expenses so i'm just going to lasso that copy it and paste it why type it again or write it again and then that gives us 
a balance of zero dollars yeah there we go just kind of indicates an every dollar budget in my head anyway so this is this is it this is all she wrote so just flipping through the budget planner for the month of may we have you know the cover sheet then we have the 2022 calendar which we have our paydays on here these little green ones indicate bonuses for my husband in particular so that's why you see those there just some like random green ones um we also have our overview for our goals and tasks for the year and then if we go to may then we have our may monthly calendar which has our paydays bills expenses things of the sort also on here i like to um, kind of notate uh events and functions and things that may require us spending money we don't have birthdays in may for anyone but we do have mother's day and we also have cinco de mayo and we have mother uh, memorial day and those might warrant um you know some spending of money that we need to account for because those are kind of you know holidays sometimes you spend money around those times if you celebrate holidays which we kind of just go wherever the wind blows and so then next up we have our may 22 finances we have our goals which i need to adjust and move those up a little bit just because it's driving me nuts and then we have our tasks and then we have all of our income bills expenses all laid out for us and we have our every dollar budget okay guys so that is it for our may 2022 monthly budget another pretty chill month um coming up i feel like almost all of the months this year have been pretty chill. Um, April this month that we're in technically right now is probably, the, was probably the most chaotic because we had to pay taxes. Um, and so that kind of yields its own set of issues, but normally that's the business side of things. So while the business side of things may be a little chaotic, our personal money, our personal budget and finances are typically just pretty, pretty chill and straightforward. So anyway, uh, if you have any financial goals or intentions or anything that you want to share, any wins that you want to share, always feel free to sound off in the comments. That's a good place to get some support. Um, if not from me, then from, or in addition to me, it, uh, hopefully from other viewers as well. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified of future videos that I put out, that is it for this video. The next video should be a May play with me in my digital planner. And then the video after that should be a May reset video where we're just kind of resetting um, for the month, specifically using my planner and specifically kind of recapping our finances and all of that from the month of April. So kind of like an April recap and um, kind of setting some intentions and such for the month of May. So that is what you should be looking forward to or what should be coming down the pipes provided I have my life together. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you.